In today's video, I'm gonna help you guys understand how to set up an accurate calorie goal when you're trying to go from looking like this to looking like this. Let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and guys, we are in the midst of a great process. I have been dieting now for quite a few months and we're getting to the fun part now. We're getting to the part where I can see all the separation and all the details and I know a lot of you guys have questions. I've been doing this for 15 years, guys. This is all I do for a living and I wanna help you guys. I am an expert in this area. I went back to school to study nutrition, to study kinesiology, to study physiology, to understand why things happen. I've also gone through this process so many times myself and I've helped hundreds, maybe thousands of people directly as I've been a coach for I think 12 years now. Pro Physique is the company that we have built here and our goal is to help you guys. So going through this process, I've learned a lot of key things and today's question came from right here on my Instagram direct message about the accuracy of how many calories you should be taking in and I've got a few cool things to show you. Hey Paul, I'm trying to do a cut, but I wanna do it the right way. I have no idea how to get an accurate caloric about to cut efficiently. I'm 6'3 and a half, that's important. 225, I have a solid build and I'm active in the gym. Man, you sound just like me. When I was 32 years old, I was the same. I was consistent in the gym. I was a lifetime athlete. I probably ate a little bit too much, drank a little bit too much, had a little bit too much fun at times, but I loved the gym. I never really missed the gym, okay? I worked out consistently, but I also never really looked the way I envisioned. Low body fat, lean. It wasn't until I hired my first coach by the name of Lane Norton, and I said, Lane, help me get in shape. Now, Lane at the time was coaching natural bodybuilding. I, at 47 years old, am still a lifetime natural bodybuilder. Here is a video of where my physique currently resides, guys. I have been dieting down since November and I'm starting to feel really good about the way I look. Maybe the best look I've had in my life. And if I'm gonna get an accurate calorie intake, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got there from Lane. So the first time I reached out to Lane, I said, hey buddy, can you help me get on a bodybuilding stage? I wanna get shredded. And he said, sure, here's what I need you to do. And it's not easy, guys. It's a little bit intimidating. I'll say it's a little bit easier now, but back then, we did not have apps. That's how old I am. There were no apps. There were no smartphones. Oh, woe is me, Paul. We still had the internet. We still had tools. So I went on a nutrition website and all I had to do for one week, which is what you need to do, is track your calories. Now, the difficult part here is that if you don't have a food scale and you're not used to doing this, it can seem like a lot of work. What's really funny about it is once you start doing it, it's no extra work. I keep my food scale in my kitchen. You can see here how easy it is for me to track something. I plug in some numbers on my phone. And the cool thing is when you repeat the same meals, they already exist. Now, the first website that I use to track my nutrition, I would create customized meals. I would say, well, I tend to eat this egg white omelet every day. I'm just gonna call this egg white omelet breakfast and I'll make it the same way every day. The same amount of eggs, the same amount of ground beef, the same amount of whatever. So you see, once you go through this the first time where you start to track your calories, it becomes very easy. Why? Because it's just repetition and clicking a button. The difficult part is just getting over that first hurdle going, oh gosh. So guys, download an app, okay? I'm testing a new app right now called Nutritionix. I've also used Fat Secret in the past. There's a plenty of good ones. But the point is, just start plugging in some information, okay? When you wake up in the morning and you have something to eat, just go on there and type in banana. Boom, you're on your way now. Now, what you wanna do is include everything. Whatever you drink, whatever you eat. What's gonna happen is you're gonna have some accountability and you're gonna go, wow, I did not realize something I was eating or doing added up. We tend to graze, we tend to have this, we tend to have that. So you might in your head think, well, I usually eat about 2000 calories. Guys, it, it might be double what you expect. That's what happens to me every time I go through this process of leaning down, I'm thinking in my head, I'm eating a certain amount of protein, carbs, and fats. I usually find out that the protein's much lower than I thought it was. Fats are much higher, okay? And fats, for those that aren't aware, are more calorically dense. More calories than double protein and carbs. Nine calories per gram in fat. So when it's high fat, it's very easy to store body fat, guys. It is very easy to go over on calories when you're eating just body fat. So this accountability, this one week is the best way bar none, why? because what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug your numbers in. You're gonna have 3,500 calories one day, 2,600 the next day, 5,000 the next day, 
1200 the next day, whatever it is, but you're going to get an actual average over seven days. You're also going to look at your weight data during that time and you're going to say, wow, my weight is very level and plateau. So whether your weight goes up and down during this week, whatever those calories average out to be, you now have some data. You're armed with information. And this is what I did. Now, I turned this information into Lane and he created a macronutrient profile for me, a cardio plan, and I was set up on my way to success. It was not easy from the beginning, guys. I had to learn to plug in foods. I had to learn how to weigh chicken, weigh steak, weigh fish, how to measure my eggs, how to... But guys, it took about a week of doing that and boom, I was off and running. Then the exciting thing for me was like, oh, let me look at the nutrition labels of the foods I like, see what fits my goals. Guess what? There's nothing on my no fly zone, right? I can eat whatever I want, guys. If I wanna go down to Krispy Kreme and get a donut before you guys cringe, listen, I can fit that in. I don't have to avoid it and then binge eat it later. Well, why don't I eat more Krispy Kreme? Well, typically because they're so high in fat. I think they're like 11 fat per donut. And if I'm typically averaging 50 to 60 grams of fat a day, I don't really wanna get 20% of my fat from a single donut when I could get tons of volume from something else. Occasionally, I'm gonna have that donut though, right guys? It just depends what my body is telling me, what my mind is telling me. Now, the leaner I get, the more specific I get about foods, but in the early phases, it's quite easy to just whittle down a couple things here and there, realize that maybe some of your protein sources are really high in fat, maybe some of your fat sources are really high in carb, maybe some of your carb sources are really high in fat as well. And you start to just look at foods, and this is where we get this list of health foods, right? Guys, what's healthy? What, what food do you think of as healthy? Broccoli, why? Well, it's got a ton of volume, right? But it also can cause digestive issues. So you don't wanna overdo it on things that are quote unquote healthy. Why do we think of chicken as healthy? Well, it's a lot of protein, not a lot of anything else. Low fat, low carb. So you get a lot of volume of protein without something else. Some high protein sources like steak can be also very high in fat and that can make it difficult to stay within the range. Now, if you don't even know where to start and you're like, Paul, I don't really wanna track for an entire week. First of all, trust me, do it. Do it. He means a kiss. We're doing little voices undercover. Come on, sweetie, do it. It'll be a game changer. But we also have this right here. This is going to give you a baseline. You plug in some things like your age, your activity level, you know, body composition. It's going to give you your macro ranges based on your goal, fat loss, super fat loss, uh, you know, muscle building, maintenance. It's going to give you a range. Now, is this calculator right here that we created for free the absolute, like, law? No, but it is a good place to start. And then what are you going to do? You're going to learn how to hit those numbers consistently. You're going to track over a period of time, seven days, 10 days, or two weeks, and you're going to see if you're making progress. And if you're not, now you're armed with knowledge. Now you're armed with accountability. That is the most accurate way, is to just start plugging in numbers, get data. Guys, I remember, it seems so overwhelming to me. Now, when I think back about it, I think, thank goodness I went through that. I was so determined to get on a bodybuilding stage, I thought, man, as difficult as this is, if other people have done it, I can do it. And now, I get to walk around like this. This is, this is my life now, and I couldn't have imagined that prior when I was just going to the gym and working out and just kind of half-heartedly paying attention to my protein, you know, buying some protein powder, taking creatine. I wasn't looking at the big picture my daily steps, my daily nutrition, my lifestyle, my sleep, my supplementation. Now guys, I manage all of that very closely depending on my goals. If your goal is to look better, feel better, perform better, get started. Check out our free beginner's guide. Also, get ready for the transformation challenge kicking off in July. We're giving away cash, it's open worldwide, nutrition plans, training plans, and these winners right here, they look amazing. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.